Betty, and this is Everyday Jesus, a program specially made for you wonderful kids because we know you love to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God. Now, can you repeat it with Pastora? To worship, to study, and learn the Word of God. Great job, kids. Now, to begin, we will start with a prayer. Now, can I see your prayer magnets? Yes! And let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day that you have given us. I pray that you will give us wisdom and understanding so that we will be able to apply all of the things that we will be learning today. We love you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen! He's the best! So right now, let's all stand up and let's worship with Everyday Jesus! Says it, you can. 
I know you enjoyed our praise and worship time with Pastors Pam and Gary. And I also know you know what time is it, right? It's our Bible story time. So please get your Bibles, your notebooks, and of course, your favorite pens. And once you have them all with you, can you help us, Tora, remember our rule time for today? Rule number one, hands behave. Rule number two, eyes watchful. Rule number three, ears listening. And rule number four, mouth silent. Great job, kids. Now for our Bible story for today, we will be opening our Bibles to Genesis chapter 22, verses 4 to 8. Now, kids, can you please get your Bibles and let's open it to Genesis chapter 22, verses 4 to 8. And let's read. On the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place from afar. Then Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey. I and the boy will go over there and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac his son. And he took in his hand the fire and the knife. So they went, both of them together. And Isaac said to his father Abraham, My father, and he said, Here I am, my son, he said. Behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Abraham said, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. So they went, both of them, together. Wow! Amazing Bible story, right kids? We have seen that Abraham still obeyed God even if it seems too hard to obey his command of sacrificing his son Isaac for him. You might ask, Pastora, how did Abraham manage to obey God even with what seems to be a hard command? Well, kids, Abraham obeyed God because he knew God. He knew that God will never hurt his son Isaac and that God's commands are always for their good. Yes, kids, always remember that God's commands are always for our good. Now, can you follow Pastora in these very simple action words? Can we say, God's commands are for my good? Can we do it again? Can we say, God's commands are for my good. Now, can we do it the last time? Can we say, God's commands are for my good. Great job, kids! So right now, I know you know what time is it, right? It's our question and answer time. So please get your notebooks and of course, your pins. And you can always write down the correct answers so that once we're back in Children's Church, we can give you extra tickets for every correct answers. So, are you ready? Yes! Great! So now let's go to our question number one. Who was the man who still obeyed God even if it seems hard to obey his command? Who was the man who still obeyed God even if it seems hard to obey his command? You got that, kids? Very good. So now let's go to our question number two. True or false? God's commands are for my good. True or false? God's commands are for my good. Got that, kids? Awesome! So now let's go to our question number three. Fill in the blank. Blanks commands are for my good. Blank commands are for my good. Done, kids? Very good job. So now let's go to our question number four, which is, of course, our application for today. Always remember, kids, that God's commands are always for our good. So let's keep that in mind so that we will always have a heart of 
obedience to Him. So I think that's it for our Bible story for today, and I hope you learn a lot. We'll see you again next time, kids! Welcome to Incredible Facts segment. Today, Pastora will be sharing with you three incredible facts from our today's Bible story. So, here's an incredible fact number one. Abraham and Isaac went up to Mount Moriah. When God commanded Abraham to offer his son Isaac to him, God asked Abraham to go up to Mount Moriah. We can see that in Genesis 22 verse 2. Then God said, Take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain I will show you. Abraham and Isaac went up to Mount Moriah. That's incredible fact number one. Here's incredible fact number two. Abraham's obedience was an act of W, worship. That's right. When Abraham was told by God to offer his son Isaac to him in Mount Moriah, Abraham obeyed. And Abraham knew that through his obedience, he was W, worshiping the Lord. How did you say so, Pastora? Because in verse 5, it says, He said to his servants, Stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship there and then we will come back to you. Abraham's obedience was an act of W, worship. That's incredible fact number two. 
here's incredible fact number three. In our obedience, there is... P. Provision. Abraham knew that obedience causes us to have provision as well. When he was asked by his son Isaac where to get the lamb for the burnt offering, Abraham answered that it is God who will... P. Provide for this. Abraham knew that as long as he obeys God, there is nothing to worry about because his obedience will bring about provision. In our obedience, there is P. Provision. That's incredible fact number three. So kids, let's have a little game in order for us to remember all the three incredible facts that we have for today. So are you ready? Alright, for the first one, Abraham and Isaac went up to... Abraham and Isaac went up to... What was the answer, kids? Good job! Abraham and Isaac went up to... Mount Moriah. That's incredible fact number one. For incredible fact number two, Abraham's obedience was an act of... Abraham's obedience was an act of... What was your answer, kids? Good job! Abraham's obedience was an act of worship. That's incredible fact number two. For incredible fact number three, in our obedience, there is... In our obedience, there is... What was your answer, kids? Good job! In our obedience, there is... P. Provision. That's incredible fact number three. So... Those are the three incredible facts that we have based from our Bible story for today. So that's it for now for our incredible facts segment. I hope that you learned a lot, kids. See you! Hi, kids! I'm at AC, and today we are going to learn a new dance. Our song for today is entitled, What an Honor! May I invite you to stand up? One, two, three! Very good! We will be learning the chorus part of the song. The steps goes with the lyrics, What an honor! What a name! What an awesome, mighty God we get to praise! Ready? Five, six, seven, what an honor! What a name! What an awesome, mighty God we get to praise. One more time. Five, six, seven. What an honor. What a name. What an awesome, mighty God we get to praise. The next part. When the part where we say we get to praise. Our God we get to praise. And five, six, seven, we get to praise. We get to praise. We get to praise our God. We get to praise. One more time. Five, six, seven, we get to praise. We get to praise. We get to praise our God. We get to praise. We get to praise. We get to praise. We get to praise our God. We get to praise. Now, let's do it with music. What an honor, what a name. What an awesome money God we get to praise. Enjoy that, kids! And you did a great job! 
Psalm 149 verse 3 says, Praise His name with dancing, accompanied by tambourine and harp. Let's dance as we worship the Lord together! Hi kids! I am Pastora Jai and this is our Bible Explorer segment. So today, in our Bible story, we have learned that Abraham put his faith and trust in God's command. Now let me ask you, are you like Abraham who will put your trust and your faith in God's commands? That's great! Well, today, in our Bible Explorer segment, we have an illustration or an experiment to make about putting your faith and trust in God's command. Are you ready to explore? Yes! Alright, so let's go explore! Woo! I have with me a bottle of soda and some candies. What do you think will happen if I put these candies inside a bottle of soda? Let's try it out! Whoa! Did you see what happened, kids? Isn't that amazing? The soda fizzled and overflowed. That's incredible! I bet you don't see that happening every day. But wait! Did you know, kids, that putting our faith in God is similar to putting these candies in the soda? When we put our faith in God, incredible things also happen. Amazing things that we don't get to see happen every day in our lives. One example is Abraham. When he put his faith in God, he met the angel of the Lord who stopped him from sacrificing Isaac. Abraham also witnessed how God provided an offering he can use instead of his son. Or David. David put his faith in God and faced Goliath. And what happened, kids? That's right! He defeated Goliath, a giant way bigger than him. Because these men put their faith in God, they witnessed incredible and amazing things God did for them. Whoop! So kids, always remember this passage in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. So it teaches us that we should always live by faith like Abraham. Let us put our faith in God alone and believe His word because when we do, incredible things will happen in our lives. Who among you believe that? Well, me too! Now, that's it for our Bible exploration for today. And I hope that you've learned something on all of those things. Now, we'll get to see you again next time. God bless! Whoop! Hi kids, this is Pastora Armira. Are you ready to learn a new memory verse song today? Yes, our verse for today is from Psalm 119, verse 47. Repeat after me. Say Psalm 119, verse 47. Very good. Now the song goes something like this. Enjoy obeying your commands, which I love, which I love. I enjoy obeying your commands, which I love, which I love. I enjoy obeying your commands, which I love, which I love. I enjoy obeying. Your commands, which I love, which I love. I enjoy obeying your commands, which I love, which I love. I enjoy obeying your commands, which I love, which I love.
Yes, all right. Very good, kids. Did you enjoy that song? I did too. Well, that's it for a memory verse song today. This is Pastora Armira. See you again next time. Welcome back, kids. So I hope you learned and enjoy in our episode for today. So right now, it's our prayer time. Do you still remember our three prayer requests? Yes! First, we will be praying for our government and church leaders alike, that God will always give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. Second, we will be praying for your families, that God will always keep them safe, and that God will always bless the work of the hands of your parents. And third, we will be praying for you, wonderful kids. What do you want Jesus to do for you? Now, as for us, you know our prayer request for you always is that you will continuously grow in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord, you will always be productive, and that you will always be a blessing to the people around you. So are you ready to pray? Yes! Let's have our prayer magnets, and let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all of the things that we have learned today. Right now, we pray for our government and church leaders alike, that God, you will always give them wisdom and understanding so that they can make the best decisions for the people always. Lord, we pray for our families, that you will always bless the work of the hands of our parents, and that you will always keep everybody safe. And Lord, we pray for these wonderful kids, that you will continuously make them grow in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord, they will always be productive, and that they will always be a blessing to the people around them. Thank you so much, Lord, and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He's the best. So that's it, kids, for Everyday Jesus today. We'll see you again next time.